Oh, you know what? We had a check against Kim, didn't we? Yes, Inland Empire. Okay, let's try that. Okay, we ha I didn't change any clothes. We have three points. Yes. Of Inland Empire from gear. Let's take up a roll it on. Okay, let's talk to Kim. I heal up a little. Yes. So we have a 42% chance to convince him there's a sexy dark mystery twist in the case. What if you did it? Oh, we've succeeded. Did what? The hangman? Yes, you killed him. And then, as part of the plan, you drowned out the memory. I think it's unlikely, but let's see where this goes. Maybe this is why your chest feels so hollow. You did an awful thing. And you can't even bring yourself to acknowledge it. Are you sure you would have the strength to take down a hardened mercenary? You're not in the best shape. Let's keep it to ourselves. This is our burden to bear for now. So, let's point to our face. I shaved. Yes. Uh, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps... Uh, what is it? You can tell me, Kim. I'm not really sure about this turn of events. I think the mutton chops might have been a better idea. They sort of seem to cover up some of the... Yeah, damage. He means damage. Well, that's sad. Either way, good on you. You wow. are saying? Lieutenant, I have a confession to make. I am the murderer. And what has led you to this conclusion? My chest feels hollow, like I did something terrible. That is a common side effect of overindulgence. It will pass. He just... He'll brook no nonsense. Besides, I doubt you could have taken down a hardened mercenary single-handedly. Yeah, that's what Physical instrument said too. See? You're clearly not a man in your prime anymore. Don't take it personally. It's just that security guards kept on by large corporations tend to be better trained and better armed than officers of the RCM. So you're saying I didn't kill him? I find that highly unlikely. It's not unusual for detectives to feel complicit in a crime until the perpetrator is apprehended, especially when the investigation is dragging. So let's get back to it, shall we? No, and I am the murderer. What has led you to this conclusion? Because my chest feels hollow. That is a common side effect of overindulgence. It will pass. Besides, I doubt you could have taken down a hardened mercenary single-handedly. See? Don't take it personally. It's just that security guards kept on by large corporations tend to be better trained and better armed than officers of the RCM. So you're saying I didn't kill him. But Kim, it turned out that I was the one racing around town in my motor carriage. The victim wasn't run over by a drunk driver. So while I can't condone your driving habit, the cases remain unrelated. I, maybe. I don't know. A lot of the side quests we did you thought were unrelated, and it turned out it was all connected. Look, it's not unusual for detectives all to right, feel yeah. complicit in a crime until the perpetrator is identified and apprehended. Especially when the investigation is dragging. So, let's get back to it, shall we? Okay, let's get back to it. So this time I'm going to put on physical instrument stuff, because that's what we're going to need to get into the drainage pipe. Alright, it turns out we have very little physical instrument stuff. I could only add one point and it cost us turning off some other stuff that I would have rather had on, but whatever. So now we need to figure out how to kill a bunch of time. Let's go see if Titus knows anything about a cell. The copper NATO is back. What do you want? I ran over here to where the Communist Book Club is going to be and then just killed a bunch of time reading about the Whirl game over and over and over and it looks like our White Morning Breakthrough is imminent. So let's take a look at that.
Oh, it's not reading it to us. It usually does. No, I will read it. Thought complete. White morning. And the little guy gets smaller and smaller as you rise above the dollhouse world. You see him out in the snow, on the streets, in the shop on the corner, and finally in a matchbox house. Sitting by the window, white flowers on the windowsill. You can smell them from up here. It's awful. A white morning, a modern death, divorce, or something similar. All you can do is put more distance between you and him. Make him smaller. Make him less you. Let's look at the bonuses. This is pretty sad. Let's look at the bonuses. Plus 20% zoom out distance in all Motorics learning caps raised by one. That's really interesting. Wow. <laughs> zoom out distance. That's cool. So let's look at this art. This, I can't tell what this is. Some sort of weird pendant or necklace or badge. And there's all these faces in here. This looks like a weird baby face. This one's really difficult to figure out. Anyway, all this art is, is so cool. All right, let's accept it. And there we go. We have one slot left. And we have seven points that we can spend. So clearly we're going to spend it. Let's figure out where we want to do it. I want to do Cop of the Apocalypse. But as appealing as it is, I think cleaning out the rooms is probably more Superstar's style. This is someone's been walking around in your dreams lately, looking for something, tidying up, rearranging, storing away all the unrealized dreams, putting old pains in boxes. The worst nightmares have settled down for a while. A spot of light on the bedroom door after the dark, the fluttering of eyelids in the spring sun, a thought that arises only to disappear again, and yet there's a pattern emerging. This seems like the journey that he has been on. So we are going to spend a point to unlock this, and we're going to internalize it. There's another one I wanted to do that was much quicker, the Jamrock Shuffle. This seems fascinating, but nope, we're doing cleaning out the rooms. So... Maybe we will get to the end of the game before the 5 hours and 35 minutes is up. We shall see. We need about an hour and 40 minutes. So I'm going to go back to looking at the world book. I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, and here we are. It's 2200 hours. So now we can go to the Communist Book Club. Hello, gentlemen. Nothing new on tab here. You're back. We are back. I'm ready. Let's talk about inframaterialism. Yes. Let's get right to it. His companion leans forward, ready to jump in. They're impressed that you dove right into the most advanced parts of the theory. Half an hour evaporates and the conversation is still wending its way toward new and unexpected places. A cool breeze coming off the bay wraps itself around the capeside apartments in a nearly forgotten part of that glorified construction site, surrounded by rusted pieces of scaffolding and walls of faded tarpauling. A detective of the RCM debates the intricacies of an abstruse theory with a pair of university students. That's right, that's exactly what we're doing and where we're doing it. But if it's true that this individual possesses so much capital that light literally bends around him, then that must mean Wow, both of these are awesome. That light itself is a bourgeois illusion. Or it suggests that capital in sufficient quantities hey. must exhibit its own plasm-like qualities. In Innocence of Capital, Pancha and Wortman argue that communists must possess as little capital as possible in order to keep their thinking undiluted by its influence. Okay, well, historically that is what communists do. Again, he was just a regular high net worth individual. There was nothing extra physical about him. <laughs> Poor Kim, he must think we're a total crank. Now the breeze has subsided. All is still except for the last bits of steam rising from the coffee pot. Well, on that note, I think we're gonna call it an evening. Okay, did we get anything out of doing that? No, wait. Can this really be the end? You feel like you've just gotten to the real stuff. Yeah, yes. One of our better discussions lately, on the whole. Hang on, is that it? What do you mean, is that it? You've done the reading, we talked about it. What more do you expect from a reading group? What if I have more questions, you know, about communism? Well, you could always ask, I guess. The two young men look at each other for a moment. We probably won't get a better chance, honestly. Yeah, this is our last chance. But it's getting late, so maybe pick the most important question. All right, Kim, what should I ask? Detective, how should I know what questions you have about communism? That's a good point. I need a minute to think about it. Come on. 
We have things to do in the morning. All right, we have a heroic rhetoric red check. Haunted by lost love. Anyway, we get plus four and then minus one. We have an 83% chance. Let's go for it. The question you we did need it. to ask is both very complicated and incredibly simple. If we can't even agree whether communism is about plasm psychology or beans... The young man waits patiently for you to finish. And the rest of the world conspires to invade and massacre us when we dare to stand up for our beliefs... Yes. What's the point? The young man considers your words for a minute. You're witnessing his ironic armor melt before you. This is his true self you're seeing now. There's something going on in there. But... His innermost sanctum oh. is still beyond your reach. Wow, we missed by four points. The theorist Puncher and Watman, not inframaterialists, but theorists nonetheless, say that communism is a secular version of Perikanasian theology, that it replaces faith in the divine with faith in humanity's future. I have to say, I've never entirely understood what they mean, but I think maybe the answer is in there, somewhere. Wait, you're saying communism is some kind of religion? Only in this very specific sense. Communism doesn't dangle any promises of eternal bliss or reward. The only promise it offers is that the future can be better than the past, if we're willing to work and fight and die for it. But what if you don't believe there is a future? Then you don't believe in the historic role of the proletariat, which also means you reject the basis of historical materialism. It means you are not a communist, in other words. Well, but then what are you then? Something else. I guess you could say we believe it because it's impossible. It's our way of saying we refuse to accept that the world has to remain. Like this. I think in this case, he's not going to just stand there and say nothing. He's actually going to say broken because that's how he feels about everything. The world, his life, everything. Yes. That's a good way to think of it. Broken. But not irreparable. I don't know if I believe it, though. You've got to believe in something. Otherwise, what are you doing? That's a good question. His words aren't really directed at you. He's wrestling with himself now. Stevan, it's getting pretty late. Okay. We just got another 30 points for getting ourselves organized. The task is complete. And we leveled up. You're right. We should clean this up and get going. Okay. Thanks, I guess we're off. Wait a minute. If you don't mind, we wanted to get your opinion on something. A few little changes we've been thinking about. What kind of changes, Saban? Nothing too major, I think. We were talking potentially about relaxing some parts of our admissions process. Maybe you should ditch the passphrase and meet in a coffee house. Hmm. I thought the cloak and dagger routine made us seem more appealing. I thought so too, but perhaps we overdid it. Just a little. There was another thing. We were also debating putting up some posters around town. Though some of us maintain that advertising is an unacceptably bourgeois tactic. That's what makes it so beautiful. The irony is unbeatable. <clears throat> As a noted art cop, you definitely have an opinion on this. So I want to say, think of it this way. You're appropriating bourgeois methods for revolutionary ends. But first, I'm going to say, sounds like something Cindy could help with. That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I guess no one could accuse Cindy of having a bourgeois aesthetic. Plus, I've got the perfect place in mind. Oh, maybe it's the art wall. Put some more coffee on, Uli. We've got a long night ahead of us. We should probably get Cindy in here, too. Oh, and gendarme. One last thing about that question you asked earlier. It reminded me of a certain poem that you might appreciate. Ah, so he has read something besides his books of abstruse theory. It was written by a young communard who was killed on the barricades during the coalition landings. The story goes that he wrote it on the last night of his life, keeping watch from the barricades in the middle of the night. I don't have the whole thing committed to memory, but there's a line in it I think about sometimes. And what's the line? In dark times, should the stars also go out? Oh, well, that's beautiful. I wonder if that's original to this game or something I'm just unfamiliar with that is in the real world. Anyway, good night to you. Oh, we got a vowed inframaterialist trophy. Pretty cool. Let's leave. Okay, wow. Wow indeed. So, there we go. We're done with that. We, yeah, that's the get yourself organized thing. So, we're done here. Okay, Communist Book Club finished. Let me just clear this. 
We're back up to seven points to spend. We might drop one into physical instrument. Let's see if Cindy has anything to say now that we've done the Hello again, thing officers. with the book club. Have you come to admire my mural? Catch you later, Cindy. Well, I was hoping she would have something. Okay, let's go back to the whirling. Hey. Let's go back to the whirling. I want to see if Klaji's there. If she is, we're going to ditch Kim. Actually, that's, you know, that's actually really disappointing. I, I thought maybe Cindy would have something to say after we set her up with the, the revolutionaries. Anyway, let's see if Klaji's there. Oh. What's this orb? There's something down there. Uh. Oh, this is where Kuno and Kuno S would be living. Hmm. Hmm. Bookstore light's still on. Pretty late. Is Kuno here? Kuno's here. Okay, let's see what's happening. Fuck, does Kuno care? Let's talk about your shack again. The fuck do you want with it? What was with the pig head? No, I've heard enough of Good this. Good not... pig, my Kuno okay. doesn't. Nope, that doesn't matter. Okay, so Klaji is not up on her balcony, which means she has stepped out again. So, I think what we're going to do is we are going to head. I guess I can use the fast travel. We're going to head over to our shack. We're going to put Kim to bed. It's getting cold. This late in the night. Time to call it a day. Good night, Kim. Good night, officer. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. All right, let's enter our shack briefly. And then we're going to go back out, talk to Lillian. And then we're going to go to sleep. And then bright and early in the morning, we are going to go in the Feld building. Aye, the sea's going to calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's on your mind, officer? Okay, let's go take a look at our stats. We could drop a point into suggestion. I know we have a couple of um, uh, pieces of clothing we could put on. Do we want to go on a date with her? Let's try it. Well, we only had one item. I thought we had more that would help us with suggestion. So what we're going to do is first we're going to do some Parolodon. <sighs> heal our health a little. Right. And then we are going to spend a point on suggestion to unlock that white check. Oh, something else got unlocked as well. That's probably, yeah, just this one. Yeah, that's the one we're going to do. So here we go. Let's talk to Lillian again. Aye, the sea's going to calm down soon. I can feel it. The wind is turning southeast. What's on your mind, officer? Okay, we have a 42% chance of convincing her that she needs to go on a date with another drunk. Badly. Get the drink on. It would be unimaginable for a human female to have sex with a man without alcohol, as the master of ceremonies to guide them. Well... We failed it, and we missed by four points. We got a pretty terrible roll of four. And this is the last time I'm going to try this. So alcohol makes the closeness possible. Let's connect. Alcohol? Connect? I'm not sure I'm following you. Get hammered with me on a date. Drunk date. It will be nice, I promise. <laughs> That's a good impression. You really cracked me up, officer. Now, how can I help you? Okay, another door closed in the game. I have to wait for a playthrough. She doesn't a new even playthrough. understand. You asked her out. Perhaps yep. you're too sober to pull it off right now. Try again later. Okay, be seeing you. Okay, well, so we're gonna go to bed now. It's getting cold. This late in the... All right, let's go to bed. The bed is comforting, if a bit run down. Still, you've earned a rest. 
The place feels almost like home now, quiet and dignified around you. A new life by the seaside. You're incredibly tired. The darkness and warmth come fast. You're falling asleep. It's easier this time. Drifting off, your head has found a comfortable indent in the pillow. Your legs and your torso feel like lead weights sinking to the bottom of the sea. Until they're suddenly light. How many days have I been in Martinez already? There are no days here. There are no weeks. Just black type spinning on repeat until the end. For now, a little while, you can sleep without words or images. When the pictograms and the hieroglyphs of the world return, they seem silent somehow. The alarm rings quietly too. You're ready. Ready, but something is coming. It always is. Let's open our eyes. Okay, and we're back. Superstar, we've healed everything. I forgot that that happens. And Superstar is getting up. And there we go. Thank you, as always, for your viewership and support. I love you very much. Please remember to have your pets spayed or neutered.